What up YouTube? I am about to build a projector screen because I have been using my wall and I just don't like the imperfections that can be seen on the wall. So it's kind of hard for you to see because it's kind of dark in the basement, which is the idea when it comes to a home theater. If you can see, there's imperfections in the wall, which originally I hid pretty well. It looked better than it did, but unfortunately, stuff like that shows up in your movie. So you can see it up close. If you go back to where we sit, it's not that noticeable, but when you start watching movies, it happens. So, this is the setup. Plan on putting movie picture walls, movie picture frames along the wall, getting rid of that ugly door, movie pictures all the way around. For now, this is the home theater. We get more pictures and videos later once we get everything elevated like an actual theater, but of course, it's a lot softer. So, for now, this is what it is, and I'm about to show you the materials that I bought to make the screen. I'll show you a before picture, video, sorry, a before video of what the image looks like on the wall, and then an after with the screen up. So now let's go back upstairs for the materials. Alright, so what we're going for is a 100 inch screen. I have a roll of blackout cloth that I bought for it's like $22. And we have some 1x2s that we're going to use for the frame. Uh, basically you just want to get your measurements. I used 85 and a half long ways by 50 down so basically it's going to go like this and of course all the way around and then i'm going to wrap the blackout cloth we're going to use these l brackets we're going to give it some room because you're going to have to put staples here 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 and so on going down and around so that a way you can attach your blackout cloth now for sturdiness I'm actually going to go with two so it's going to look basically like this in each corner to hold this to hold the frame together and we'll see what happens so we'll be, be back after I get the frame built. And voila, if we can focus, we have the frame. If you look on the back side, by the way, I am cooking in the crock pot while we're building. Brackets. See, I got two holes that I didn't screw. I didn't want to split the wood. This one has a little bit more screws because the wood wasn't splitting. This one had a knot in the wood right there. Really difficult to put a screw in without damage, so I had to carefully place them. And this one also. So boom, some one by twos, that's what you need, and some brackets. I'll give you a list of everything that you need, including Red Bull, because it was early when I got started. So now we're going to take the blackout cloth, 90 inches worth. 90 by 54 and we're going to wrap it and staple it so we'll be back in just a moment to show you that all right so we have our fabric 
fabric cloth laid out. We're going to wrap it around, pull it tight, and use a staple gun to staple it. And if you look, when you buy a blackout cloth, there's actually, let me go on the light here, there's actually two sides to it. I don't know if you can tell, but see how there's like a grain to it? And then there's this side, which is completely smooth. Grain, smooth. Grain, smooth. So we're gonna go with, you wanna put the grain side up, put your frame on that, that way you get smooth side on the opposite to where it doesn't show the imperfections or grain in your movies or games that you're playing. Sorry about the focus problem there. So, I'll wrap it, and I'll be back. So, I felt this was important. What I'm doing is, I started with a corner, and then I went down to this corner, and then I went down to this corner, and then I started going in this area, and then this area, placing my staples because the goal is to pull it as tight as possible without any wrinkles. So you pull it tight, staple it, pull it tight, staple it. So we will show you what that's about. Not gonna be able to prop this up like I want it to. Oh, yeah. So you can see it as I'm doing it. Not really working. All right, so it's not working out. But I'll be back. And there you have it. Big screen. Hell of a big screen. Now I'll take it downstairs, show you some before and afters. We'll go from there. Okay. So this is the wall. As it is, with no screen on it. Let it load up, boom. So it looks good. Good picture. Come in to the wall. You can see the wall, obviously. Let's go out, go to Netflix. Watch it load. Okay, so there's the movie. No, it's not me, it's the movie. The show. Still hasn't buffered all the way. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we'll see about that. Turn the 
the volume on the surround sound down. Okay. Wall. Oops. Don't know if you can see the imperfections on the wall. Let's see. Right there. Wait for it. On the wall. You see? Right there. My finger right there. Boom. Not something you want to see when watching a movie. Alright. So let's get the screen put up and see what it looks like. So from here, zoom in. Wall. Now we're going to go to the screen. 